Hello class. In this video, we are going to focus on the higher order derivatives. So let us solve some examples. Like for example, if you are given say f of x equal to square root of x and you are asked to solve for the third derivative of x f triple prime of x okay so how will we solve this problem so first we need to uh, transform this into uh, an x with an exponent right so we can write this as f of x equal to x to the power one half okay so the first derivative of f of x is equal to so using the power rule so we have one half times x to the power um, one half uh, one half minus one so f prime of x is equal to one half x to the power minus one half okay so that's our first derivative that's our f prime of x so now solving for f double prime or the second derivative of x so this is equal to so we have one half then again power rule so one half this is negative uh, times uh, x to the power minus one half okay, minus one okay so f double prime of x is equal to positive one half times negative one half so that is negative one fourth x to the power so what is minus one half minus one so minus one half minus one that is equal to minus three halves okay so this is our f double prime now solving for the f triple prime so f triple prime or the third derivative of x so again we have the power rule so power rule so we have to bring this power down so minus 3 halves times x to the minus 3 halves minus 1 so what is 3 halves minus 1 okay so 3 halves minus 1 that is equal to minus 5 halves alright so our f triple prime of x is equal to we have negative 1 fourth times negative 3 halves so this is uh, positive okay so this is negative 1 times negative 3 positive 3 so 4 times 8 at the denominator so that is uh, sorry 4 times 2 so that is 8 then x to the power so minus 3 halves minus 1 that is minus 5 halves so that is our f triple prime now we can still simplify this one okay so how to simplify this one so we can uh, rewrite this as 3 over so we can uh, bring this and bring this down okay bring this down so from the log exponent we have x to the minus m this is equal to 1 over x to the positive m so we'll use that concept so when you bring that down that becomes positive so the denominator becomes 8 times x to the power positive 5 halves 
okay so I'll continue it here so f triple prime of x is equal to so this becomes uh, we can rewrite this as 3 over 8 and uh, we can rewrite this as the square root of x to the fifth power okay so this is the equivalent of this one this one can, can be written uh, this part here can be written something like this and you can uh, factor this uh, square root of x to the power 5 so therefore we have 3 divided by 8 times square root of x to the fourth power times square root of x so they're just the same huh? this is just the same as x to the square root of x to the power 5 so this is equal to 3 divided by so square root of x to the fourth so square root of x to the fourth so simply that's x squared and times square root of x and we can still uh, s simplify this one we can rationalize the denominator okay so we can uh, rationalizing we can uh, rewrite this as 8x squared times the square root of x so multiply this also by square root of x then do the same at the numerator square root of x so it's just like uh, nothing happens huh? because square root of x divided by square root of x that's equal to 1 so nothing happens so and the purpose is just to uh, simplify this further so we have the numerator 3 times square root of x and divided by 8x squared and this is square root of uh, x times x so you can put it inside one radical so that becomes square root of x squared so this will be 3 square root of x uh, 8x divided by 8x squared then square root of x squared so that is equal to x so therefore we have our final answer as 3 times square root of x divided by 8x cubed okay so this is our f triple prime of x okay so i hope you understand uh, you have understood this one class so the purpose of this you know, we have simplified this our answer here because sometimes in the choices you cannot see this one perhaps this this is the one given in the choices or perhaps this one so you should know how to to uh, simplify or express it in other another form All right so that's uh, another example um, I will I will stop up to here and then we'll give you another example in the next video thank you and see you again in the next video stay safe and healthy always class god bless bye